So Amiibos have been out for two years now, and honestly, they haven't been too useful for the Wii U titles except for collecting. But in a Nintendo Direct in March 3rd, they announced Mini Mario and Friends Amiibo Challenge, a free downloadable game in the eShop for Nintendo Wii U and 3DS. Finally, Nintendo decided to make these things a bit more useful now. What is up guys? It is John and Liam Master Guys here, and welcome to my first review here on this channel. I decided to start off doing reviews by, do by doing something short and simple, and which is this game. So I'll be taking a long review with... Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, XNAB11, and I'll be here co-reviewing with John, since I also had experience playing this game as well. And I would like to also share my opinions on this game too. Alright then, let's get on to the review. So for Mini Mario and Friends Amiibo Challenge, obviously you'll need an Amiibo to play this. The game is pretty similar to the Mario vs Donkey Kong series, but if you've never played the Mario vs Donkey Kong series before, then I'll explain what the game is like. First off, you'll be sent to the world map that has different worlds. The bottom path is basically the main path. You can use any Amiibo for this path, but the path above with different unique worlds is the Amiibo exclusive path. You'll need certain Amiibos to get there, which we'll talk about later. This game's genre is a puzzle game. A player activates a mini toy trying to reach the end of the stage. With the mini toys moving, you have many resources to place. Objects like red grinders use up resources when they are placed. You can gain resources back by picking objects back up. Same with blocks and springs. The main objective in each level is trying to reach the goal. At the end of the stage, players are given a score based on the performance and by clearing it with a high enough score. The player earns a gold trophy for that stage. Within certain main stages, there's alternative ways to beat the level. They have these things called amiibo doors, which can be only accessed by a certain character on the door and unlock extra stages themed around that character. Some stages also feature amiibo tokens, which you can get by using a certain character's ability. What do they do, you may ask? Well, you use them to unlock levels in the final world, which you can get after clearing all the main stages. Even though this game is pretty similar to the Mario vs Donkey Kong series, there are some differences. First of all, this game lacks a story mode. You just go level to level. Also, there's no boss battles, and the one you'll probably notice the most is that there's 11 mini toys. Each one has their own unique ability. Mini Mario can wall jump, Mini Luigi can jump high, Mini Peach can float over narrow gaps in the ground, Mini Toad can crawl through tight spaces, Mini DK can climb up steep slopes, Mini Bowser can do the Bowser Bomb whenever he falls off a cliff and destroys rocks in his way. Mini Bowser Jr. travels through spikes without getting hurt. Mini Diddy Kong can grab ledges. Mini Yoshi can eat enemies. Mini Rosalina can jump higher than Mini Luigi. And the Mini Spec is just a simple mini toy with no abilities. You can get by scanning a non-Mario amiibo. The minis also have unique stages that are inspired by their own game or by their own unique techniques that is unique to that specific game. For example, Luigi's stages are inspired by Luigi's Mansion due to the booze constantly floating around, while Mario's is inspired by New Super Mario Bros. Wii due to constant wall jumps in the background as well. The list goes on, but you would need more amiibo to see the possibilities. The level designs here are unique and inspirational. The puzzles in the beginning is just a tutorial for you to get used to the mechanics, and then the levels later on will be challenging and may require to use your brain a lot. Jeremy and I will explain the pros and cons for this game. As far as pros, this game has many other than it being free. It uses Amiibo to its advantage considering you can't complete the game without them. It's unique compared to any other mini Mario slash Mario vs Donkey Kong game in that it uses level themes and abilities. Difficulty stays true as with each level the difficulty rises instead of getting easier and easier with each level. It's a good length for a free game, good soundtrack with a few remixes, and it's on the 3DS too. If you're wondering what the new 3DS version is like, it's pretty much the same, nothing different. There really isn't much cons that we can think of, but the only thing I can think of is that it requires all Mario Amiibos for you to fully experience the whole game. And if you look at my Mario Amiibo collection, I'm only like missing like a couple of Amiibos. And some of them are no longer at GameStop anymore, so I'll have to buy them on Amazon before the prices increases. And that's all we gotta say for Mini Mario & Friends Amiibo Challenge. It's a great game, and it's pretty much one of those type of games where you have nothing else to do and just want to kill time. I highly recommend this game if you're a fan of the Mario vs Donkey Kong series. But if you haven't played this series before, then this game could be a good start. Honestly, I'm glad Nintendo's making these Amiibos more useful. I hope they do more stuff like these in the future, and Jeremy, what's your opinion on this? I feel like Nintendo should honestly keep doing what they're doing with Amiibo support, because really it's to the point where Amiibos have no purpose except being just simple collectibles on your shelf. This game in its own right is unique and worth a try to those who want something completely new to try. Just remember, you need Amiibos to play. Our rating for this game is going to be... a 7 out of 10. Let us know in the comment section below on what your thoughts are in this game, and we would love to hear them. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed our first review, feel free to leave a like, and feel free to subscribe for more reviews like this in the future. This is John, the Game Mask Guys here, signing out. Have a great night everyone.